I love them. I can't wait to discuss them, David. First, before we get to them, just give us a quick market thought. Where are you when you think of the markets now? Well, certainly, I think there's three themes going on right now. We boost the stock perhaps 5 to 10 percent right there. Also, that would give the Federal Reserve the confidence to remove that cap on their asset base. And that would also be another growth driver. Right. So less worried about all the PR scandalous stuff that passed. So good news ahead. How about Exxon, which we're seeing oil today jumping, but the tech space is so big. So when you say buy technology, what are you saying? Well, I mean, certainly the, the beauty of technology is it's riding secular growth trends. But you brought in Toyota Motor as one of your picks. Why? Well, so automobiles has been one of the worst performing groups, no, no matter whether you're trying to invest in Tesla or GM or Ford and so forth. And so a price target cut to 190, but you like this one. They just broke off with Amazon. The analysts say that seems to be okay. Why do you like FedEx? Well, a pillar which is continuing to see machine sales gaining though at a slower pace. I, I, again, every time people get concerned about the global economy. And it's so great to see you. You are totally immersed in the markets day in and day out. You interview a lot of key people as well. What are you hearing? Well, just like you, we get very interesting points of view. And yeah, I, I, everybody I speak with just talks about how we're so range bound, you know, and there's they have support right at the 2800, 2850 is sort of fair game, 2900, every time you get up, you cannot break out of, of 2,900. Right. It's the defensive sectors that are leading the market, which also is not, it's strange. Like when yeah. you have real estate and utilities as the best performing sectors on the day in an up market, it makes you wonder why isn't it the financials and tech and more risk on yeah. type sectors? It shows that people are playing, but playing defensively. Well, and they're also looking for yield too. Upstairs where the IPOs are pouring in this yep. year. What a great year it's been for IPOs. And this week we had CrowdStrike. Yep. It's been a great performer. What was the feel up there? I mean, we're definitely seeing demand. The street loves mergers. They love when everybody's wheeling and dealing. It just, I think, often just shows that there's deals to be had. Like everybody's not sitting tight and scared. On the contrary, they're bringing things to market. There's demand for that and they're making deals. I mean, are you hearing some optimism?